Hello everybody, this is Marisol with microbladinghub.com. Today I'm going to show you how to build a website using Weebly. Weebly is, I believe, the easiest website builder out there. And not only is it easy, it's also very cheap. All right, when you visit weebly.com, you're going to be taken to this website, to this uh, page right here. We're going to click on Get Started. It'll bring up a sign-up menu. You write in your full name, your email address, and your password, and you hit sign up. Now, I've already signed up, so I'm just going to log in. Now, all right, I've created, I, right now I have like two accounts because this is the one I wanted to show you how to build, and I'll show you the end result. All right, so when you're taken here, uh, I've already chosen my theme. You'll, you'll have to go through that process, but I chose the one about the barbers just because I felt it was the most similar to a brow bar. All right, so we're going to click on Edit Site. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, when, you, when you are going through the sign-up process, there will be a point in which you will be prompted to select your domain. Uh, my domain is cleobrowbar.weebly.com uh, only because I chose not to pay, but I do not recommend that. If you want to have um, a good website, let's do, this is the finished product, weebly.com. If you want to have a decent website, I strongly suggest you stay away from having the Weebly in your domain. It just does not look professional. Same thing goes with this down right here. This here, it just does not look professional. Uh, people don't want to see that it, your website was powered by Weebly, okay? It just doesn't seem like you take your business seriously. You cannot charge $500 for a service and that not invest even $10 a month on your website and on yourself and what you portray to your clients, all right? So this is the website I have built um, using that theme. As you can see, I modified very little. All I did was change a few pictures. This one, it should never, your website should never have uh, the stock watermark, okay, on their pictures because, again, it looks like you're cheap. I did this because it is an example, <laughs> so, if I were doing this for real, I would find a way to purchase good stock photos or get them for free. There are many places where you can get them for free. So I, I kind of modified this here and the picture, this I didn't bother with. But if you click here on schedule an appointment, you should be taken to, okay, no, it's not working. But um, Weebly apparently, from what I saw, doesn't let you doesn't have like an inner scheduling system so what I did was I tried to link it to uh, Square Appointments just because I really like their service and I've seen many of you using it already so you can go through here and sign up and get your um, your website and you get a beautiful schedule that people will uh, will see when they want to book alright so then when you when you are all done with this, you can get that link and put it here in this button. All right, so then I put a little snippet here about our founder, Cleopatra, haha. -ha. And if you tap on that one, it should take you to the About page, which I also didn't really bother with because it's very simple to, um, to change and to edit. I did change all these pictures. Um, again, if you don't want this, you could totally get rid of it and do something else. This I thought was pretty cool. I, I got these little icons off the internet, of course, and I'm going to make them, or I was going to make them, so that when you, that you can enable the blowout and tap there or click there and have it take you to the big page where all the services are listed. This I think is good to have on your home page just because it gives an idea uh, of uh, exactly what it is you offer straight off the bat. Your location and your hours and then Cleo Braubark, copyright, blah blah blah. 
All right, so how do you do that? It's really not that hard, okay? Um, when you when you click on edit site, you're taken to like something like this. I've already changed this picture here. It's very simple. You click on edit background, hit replace. If you have stock pictures that you want to use, or like pictures of your studio or salon, uh, upload them here. If not, you want to go generic. I mean, these are not the best stock pictures ever, but they are free. Um, and you're welcome to use them because Weebly is that nice. So I chose that girl and then I hit select. I'm going to click cancel now. And then, you know, if you are done with that, you can darken it, you can blur it, you could do everything you want down here. Then you click save. And then let's say you want to edit this. You can underline, make it bigger, make it smaller. You can do all kinds of things, and this is not very intuitive, but if you want to change the font, because Weebly is meant to be super simple, some things are, I guess, a little harder than they should. So if you want to change the theme, the, 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 the font, uh, you kind of have to go through here. And that is a little more complicated than I would have liked, but that's how Weebly rolls. All right, so let's say this now is a little too dark. We want to make it a little lighter. We go here. We move this all the way up to FFFFF, which is the color white. And then you hit out of it, and boom. If you want to enable this link, you go here. You tap on it, and it's already linked to the About page. Great. So I love that Weebly kind of shows you this, you see like these um, columns here, these rows. If I wanted to move the button, all I'd do is I'd do that. Then I could move it back down. All right, so that's that. Uh, if you, I'll show you something else that is probably not very intuitive. Mm -mm -mm. If you want to create two columns, the way you do that is by going to build, grabbing your title or your text or your image, whatever it is you want to put, and you see the blue lines? See how like they're like this becomes activated here if I put it here. That will if I put it on the sides, it will create another column. So Let's try it. See? There it is. You got your two columns. And you can do that um, with like, let's drag some more text and put it here. That should give us a third column. Yeah, well, that, that doesn't look too good, but you have to play around with it. So you want to get rid of that, you tap delete, delete. And it goes back to that one column. Alrighty, so again, Weebly is super easy to use. I built, I built this website. I think obviously it's not completely done, but I built it in an hour. And I think you can totally do it in way less than that. You go to here. You go here to services. You have all of this. I only replaced that because it was too manly, so I made it a little more feminine. Uh, you can change all these pictures. You know, add, remove text as much as you want, uh, but you don't have to stray away too much from the theme itself. Here are the um, the owners and a contact uh, page, you sh which you should always have, and it should have your location. All right, uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching.